Hey boys and girls, how you doing? Let's do another pick a card. And today is going to be who is approaching, who wants to approach you. Let's put it that way. Uh, two cards. I don't know how you're dealing with the conjunction, people, but my goodness, I feel it big time. All good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> How, how do you sleep? Because I sleeping is like, whoa, something else. Anyway, too, many, too much information. I said, far too much information. <laughs> okay, so some things never change, I think. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Okay, that, let's, let's not mix them. <laughs> okay, part number one. Who wants to approach you? Hmm, eight of cuts. Nine of sword, nine of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, is someone, well, it's been in your mind. That person, you probably know that person. And that is someone that has been in your mind and they obviously, you know, they were in your mind, you were in their mind, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's a bad laugh already connected. And they decide, okay, I'm going to move away from that darkness. I'm going to move away from where I am. I'm just going to attempt the ascension of the Mount Everest or something like that and they say well okay you know what that's it I'm upgrading I'm doing I'm going for it I let go of the past I'm going for it it has been an enormous amount of um, hurdle between you two it hasn't been easy it hasn't been straightforward it has been a bit of a pain and yes as well maybe they don't sleep so well at night mm -hmm. <laughs> another one <laughs> So, in more serious uh, note, okay, let's have a more information about this person. Yeah, this person is definitely daydreaming about you. It's someone who um been procrastinating about you. They, they're thinking a lot about you, for sure. For sure, you are in their mind non-stop. And they're kind of like, no, I'm not going there. I'm kind of resisting it. And in the meantime, they went from one drama to the next. It's been, a, I mean, we all know 2020 has been challenging, but my goodness, right? It has been quite intense. But as a result, whew, they gain so much strength. They are so much charisma. They are, whew, look at me now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They're very, very powerful. Yes, maybe they had a lot to juggle. It's true. I don't think there were an option between two, but sometimes it can, it could be possible. It's true. However, you stick in their mind for sure. They had to purge a little bit of what they were feeling, what they were thinking, what they really wanted. Really, really, really. Okay, so they had time to really go through the process. Okay, they didn't fluff around. They really went for it. Yes, maybe they were... A little bit of an attraction to start with maybe a little bit of naughtiness on that level like you know um, kind of two-faced at, at that level they want maybe to have enjoy themselves more or less that's what it means um but they knew that you someone who deserved much better you someone who very grounded very together very nurturing anchoring very real very strong as well so it's not something that you know they they were not going to attempt to play that game because if they did, it didn't succeed. <laughs> so they had to, oh, oh, let's just um, let's just rethink the strategy here. So, well, they did rethink the strategy. And I think they want to approach you in a much more positive uh, note. It is the best color of the old deck. It's all about happiness. It's about, you know, joy. It's about feeling so so cool together so fresh like two kids really or maybe the reason why they couldn't approach you is because there was children involved or something like this there's something connected to children or just as well reconnecting with your inner child and because you can do that now both of you equally without trying to be sneaky in any ways um it works because you are real they are real boom let's go Oh, I like it. So that person is definitely have made a lot of work on themselves. We appreciate it. They obviously learned the lesson in a bit tough way, but that's the only way generally we learn lessons, don't we? Generally, it's not when everything is pink and lovely. Okay, moving on. Part number two, who wants to approach you? The magician, the high priestess, the child. Yeah, someone is definitely wants to rush towards you. Really, really really someone who's very um motivated rushing running 
going for victory and nothing less. They will not let go until they get victory. Scary. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, you actually maybe had that feeling about it. Maybe it's a person that you already met and kind of had that, hmm, je ne sais quoi, um, because you're very intuitive. Or oh, they're also very intuitive as well. And uh, But you sat on it, like... I'm keeping my mystery, I'm not saying a thing, uh, because that's what I do. Um, but then you kind of like, hmm, I feel that, I feel that, but nothing happened for a while, okay? <sighs> maybe you thought it was just an illusion, maybe it was like, oh, just in my mind, you know, but those first intuition, always pay attention to those. First impression, as we say, right? And then um, you manifest it, you manifest each other or re-manifest each other. That is very possible as well. Let's see, we don't have enough elements to, to know. Right, that person definitely wants to date you. Maybe you know them from a network. Uh, maybe they've been around, you saw them around, maybe you saw them online. It was just something like kind of like you know them without knowing them, but you kind of have had a vibe from them. Or is someone that, you know, um, yeah, it's definitely active when we were able to go out <laughs> a long, long, long time ago, remember? <laughs> That was last century or something, I can't remember anymore. Um, but there's someone who were in your social environment maybe as well. And there's also someone who may have a third party situation as at the moment or at the time. But not anymore because now, here we go, they want to take a leap of faith. They are someone who might not have all the elements, might not know much about you, but they have their intuition. Because it can be reversed, of course, you both feel each other very much. And it's definitely this energy of moving forward and moving forward fast no fluffing around my god there's a wheel and the magician as well let's not forget i mean those three major arcana are massive it's the desire to just let's go i don't know how i don't know how we're going to make it work i don't know how you know to approach you but i'm going for it no matter what yes because that could definitely be love at first sight that could be because it's an idea of speed really like whew, it just it just happened, it hit you as uh, another love. But as well, you know, Ace of Cups sometimes is overflowing energies or, and feelings, which mean that sometimes they feel like a little bit of a tsunami and it's difficult to handle for some people. It's like, I love you, I hate you, I hate you, I love you, I don't even know. It's like over the top because, well, it's a love at first sight. How many people have love at first sight? You know, it doesn't happen to everybody and not every day, for sure. So when it happens, it hits you. And quite often, you don't know how to handle it. But if that happened, they didn't forget you. Because maybe at the moment it happened, you were like, oh, too much, too much. Don't want to go there. So they still had that idea. I remember that, but I didn't know how to handle it. So I was watching you from far away. However, mm, I still have it in my back of my mind. <laughs> Sounds scary, isn't it? But as well, they also someone who always had the nostalgia of love, always wanted to find love, always wanted to believe in love, no matter what life threw at them. Brilliant, beautiful. It's someone who's definitely going to feel like you are home. You are the wish granted. You are the solution to the problem if there's someone in business. Um, it's someone who feels like you can balance them. You make them feel peaceful. You feel you make them feel like home. And they home to you as well. Of course, it works both ways. And it's really beautiful because they can see the path with you. It's like, that's why they're rushing. They don't want to waste any time because they can't afford not to be with you. They can't absolutely can't yes maybe at the time they felt like oh my god whew, that person is just too fabulous too amazing maybe they got scared when they first met you kind of have a, a glimpse of you a long long time ago during that social event century ago <laughs> but now bingo now they're ready they're capable of put their foot down and like okay let's go let's do this and it's someone who wants to really a bill for the future, someone who wants to respect you, to treat you like a king or like a queen, doesn't matter. And it's about, yeah, a lot of respect and, and doing things the right way this time because maybe they didn't have an opportunity to do that. Yeah, it's completing a cycle. I had to do one more, I had to check it out with that. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's an idea of uh, it's, it's a new world now for sure. It's maybe someone who saw you on, on social media for sure. 
it's an idea of finishing completing a cycle so the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one so it's really opening a new chapter in your life that's exactly what we need yes come on okay on this note have a beautiful day and i see you tomorrow ciao